Megan kids have gone in, get me a cup of coffee before I head down to the other side uh, and try and get that image I was trying to get the other night. Uh, tonight I'm using the Panasonic G7. Uh, I usually use that for vlogging and filmmaking. Uh, so this is the first time I'm using that as a camera. So I'm gonna drop the kids off somewhere. They can go play football in the rain. It's good for them. While I head down to the other side, and try and get a shot after it stopped chucking it. said um, I'm going to go out with the Panasonic G7 uh, it's the first time I'm using it as a um, camera so uh, you'll have to bear with me because um, usually I use it for filmmaking vlogging or whatever um, I did have the GH4 but I sold the GH4 I bought the G7 because the G7 fits on the gimbal I use uh, uh, which makes sense because the G7 does 90% of what the GH4 does. So yeah, so it'll be the first time I use it as a stills camera. Um, I think it's stopping now. Uh, so what I got with the G7 is I've got an adapter on the camera which enables me to use the Canon lenses I've been using and then I can use my filters if I want to do any long exposures. So uh, I have to wait for it to stop raining because uh, the G7's camera body uh, is not built for the wet weather. So as soon as it stops now we'll head back down over there and try and get a nice shot. Um, the water's a bit more in tonight. Uh, still dripping wet but this nice colour over there it's nice and orange uh, water's a bit chalky so I'm going to try and smooth that out get a long exposure and streak that orangeness above there um, and I'm just waiting for it to stop raining which is a bit of a pain in the ass at the moment But on the good side, at least I got a coffee. Or cappuccino, shall I say. Well, I thought the rain was going to stop, and now it's starting again. Ah, oh, what a pain in the ass. Uh, I'm just going to hang on for about another five minutes, and the see what happens. Um, I'm losing the light over there now. See that's the thing, you know, you just don't get enough time. So if I don't get it tonight, I'll probably come back again tomorrow, get it another go, but I don't see it, it's, it's just raining, it's not going to stop. I don't see it clearing up either. <laughs> One minute I'm going to leave, uh, then it stops. But I'll probably come back here again now and it'll start. And uh, oh, it doesn't look so good now. Um, it might have stopped but it really looks bad dark there now okay I think I'm gonna go for the shot I don't even know what look like thunder clouds on it it's like a mix of dark black and orange Oh, man. I 
like some of the odd colours going on. Nice and light there, bit of orange over there. Over there. Uh, right over here, you've got this big storm cloud. Uh, and it's really dark here now, no light. Uh, I'm going to head back to the car. Um, sounds very stormy. And I think it's going to chuck it down quite soon. Yeah, it's gone too dark over there. And uh, a bit thundery. Uh, you got them storm clouds coming in there. Uh, don't fancy being out in it. Um, right then, I think what I'll do is uh, I'll pop out again tomorrow evening to try and get that shot. Oh well, that's how it is. So tonight I've got the uh, Panasonic G7. Um, right. Uh, with this, I've got my Samyang Micro Four Thirds 12mm lens, which is equi equivalent to 24mm on full frame. But on the end of it, I've got a sort of wide converter, so it's uh, making the image a lot wider. So it, I'm probably shooting at 22mm, something like that. And luckily enough, that's an 88mm 88 mil thread on it, so I'm able to use my filters for this. So you've got to bear with me, this is the first time I've ever used this as a still camera. Um, the only problem I've had on it, because I'm using a manual, manual lens on it, is that I'm not able to work the f-stops within the camera. So luckily on the Samyang lens, I'm able to control the f-stop dial on the camera. So we'll uh, head back to the pier a bit now, hopefully third time lucky, but I'm just going to sit on my ass here and wait for some colour if I'm lucky to appear in the sky, so we'll see what happens tonight. <laughs> So tonight I've been able to get on these rocks, which might be my favourite, and they really work as a leading line. Uh, you should be able to see the chain thing there I was on about the other night. But I think this works better here, because it just takes you onto the bridge there and onto the pier. Um, so I'm going to try. It's a weird bug. Right, so I'm going to try a... Uh, I'm trying to go for a 30 second exposure on this. Um, I got a 6 stop filter and a 0.9 soft grad. Let's see how this works. There now, uh, 
Yeah, I think I'm going to set up here, use a couple of the rocks in the foreground and get a portrait here, long exposure, and that looks nice. I'll set up quickly so I don't miss this. Uh, looking at the back of the view from the, that looked really great, really good. Um, I'm going to go back here and set up again because the light over there is just changing a lot. So hopefully if I can get that over there, I'm going to be laughing. But that looks really good. I'm not going to get that colour that's behind me over there, but it's definitely, the sky looks better than what it did earlier on, so I think I'm just going to have to wait and see what happens, but that is, is just beautiful behind me. this week the weather's just been horrible uh, I've been trying to get out with a window of an hour here and there uh, drop my camera in water uh, I tried drying it out for days uh, nothing's changed it's still error 30 so that means uh, there's something wrong with the shutter so I'm gonna have to send that in uh, this week sometime uh, I'm quite pleased with the G7 uh, what I've seen on the back of the viewfinder, it's, it's produced some good images, I've never used it before and it's pretty good. I'm keeping an eye out on that cloud to shift that way, just to see what happens. So yeah, it's been a crap week, but on a good note, um, I had an email to say that I'd won uh, the Reader's Gallery in the November issue of Outdoor Photography on these two images. Yeah, so that was very good news for this week. Uh, well chuffed with that. Uh, yeah, brilliant. come back closer just to get a portrait now uh, the clouds moving on that way I'm getting more orange I just want that little um, chain thingy on the rock there and that and I think that would make a really good image so that's what I'm doing now I'm gonna play with this and see what happens Right, I'm going for my last exposure tonight, which is a 60 second exposure, and I think that's it for tonight, because uh, after that orange clears, that's it, this, it's gone. But I'm really happy tonight worked out. Um, yeah, very happy. Uh, I just hope the images work. Yep. Right, 
right then, so uh, that's it. That's the end of the vlog. Uh, successful evening at long last. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to buy the uh, November issue of Outdoor Photography. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, please do subscribe and if you want to see more uh, just click the bell above so you'll be notified when a new video comes so yeah until next time bye